Hey, have you ever felt hopeless? I mean, there are times in our lives when hope is hard to come by, right? We get a diagnosis of something that is definitely wrong with our bodies, whether it's cancer or emphysema or some other debilitating, deadly disease, and hope is hard to find. The doctors say, well, you know, we can, we can treat it with this, we can help you with that, we can make sure that you're comfortable, we can cure it with this if you do this and this and this, right? Or, or, right? And, and we kind of, we hear the word, whatever disease it is, and, and we kind of go numb. You know, our ears don't work the way they should, and our, our vision gets blurry, and our head starts to swim, and and we start to think the worst. Hope is hard to come by sometimes. And in the New Testament, Jesus is walking through a town called Nain. And he is with the disciples. And as they're walking into the town, there is a funeral procession. A young man has died, a mother's only son. And the mother is distraught. And she is beside herself because she has no one to take care of her. In that culture, if you didn't have a husband or a son to take care of you and you were a woman, then you were in trouble because, well, there's not really a lot of work for a woman in that culture, in that society at that time. And Jesus' heart breaks when he sees her and how she is hopeless at this point. And he walks over to the coffin and he says to the pallbearers, hold up for a minute. And they stand still and Jesus reaches into the coffin and he touches the, the young man and says, Hey, wake up. And the guy sits up and he starts to talk. And everybody freaks out. W wouldn't you? I mean, this guy was dead. They knew he was dead. They know what death looks like, right? And this young man was dead and they were getting ready to bury him and... Now he is alive because of Jesus. And here's the thing. You know, we may not be dead physically, but sometimes we are dead spiritually. We are dead emotionally. We are dead mentally. We have numbed up and we can't find the answer anymore because, well, we've tried everything we know and we can't figure it out. Sometimes we need to humble ourselves and say that we can't do this on our own because we are helpless and hopeless. But with Jesus, all things are possible. He can restore hope in the midst of sickness. He can restore hope in the midst of death. He can restore hope in the midst of divorce and financial ruin and addiction. He is the one who can restore all hope if we will look to him for our strength. When in times of need, go to Jesus and rely on him. May God continue to pour out his grace, mercy, and blessings on each and every one of us until we get to meet again. Amen. Amen.